Okay, hi everyone. All right, so the next program is a test average program. And basically this program is going to take in three scores and it's going to find the average and display the scores along along with its average. Okay, so the average is going to be the all the scores added together divided by the number of the scores. So in this case, it's going to be three, three scores. So we're going to add all those three scores together and divide by the by, the, by the, 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 the number of the scores, which is three scores, to find the average. So, and I'm going to use a scanner to output the information. Um, yeah. In my other videos, it has the J option pane. So if you don't understand the J option pane, you can go there and, 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 and basically watch that. And it's going to give you an idea of how to use the J option pane. All right, so I'll go ahead and I'll create the class. And I'll call it test average. And I'll create a class. I mean the sorry, this the method, the main method. we're going to declare some variables okay so we're going to take in two um, three scores so I'm going to declare variables for all the scores so the scores are going to be doubles you know doubles because we're going to end up finding average and it's going to give us double so we can't really st store them in integers although if you have a program that requires integers you do that so I'm going to declare three variables. So double first score. Double second score. And last one, double third score. The third score. Now you can also do it this way. You can also do this do, do it this way double first score second score and then third score same thing but I would leave it this way because I like to to do that separately just just so it's clear okay so now that we have the scores since we're going to be um, accepting inputs from the user I'm going to import the scanner class Oops. java.util.scanner and I'm going to go ahead and create a scanner object I'm going to call it scanner and we are going to use a system.in in method to accept input and connect it to the scanner object and use the scanner, the scanner's uh, methods to convert whatever was typed into system.in to either integers or doubles or strings or, or whatever. Okay, so first thing we're going to ask the user to input the first score. System.out.print um, ln. Please enter first score. And we are going to um, we're going to we're going, we're going to pop up a text box that's going to convert whatever the user types into a string and store it and store it in um sorry so what what whatever the user types into a double and store it in the variable so first score is going to be equal to we're going to use a scanner object scanner dot next double and we are going to copy this and do it for the other two so change this to second changes to third 
change the third. Okay, so now we have those, we have all the variables and their values. So all we have to do is to find our average, we first add them all together and then divide by three because we have three scores. But we need to store them in another variable and I'm called average so that we, we have that, we can, we can store the, the average. So it's going to be double average uh, actually, we're, we're not going to initialize it. So double average, and just put a comment here. Calculate average. Okay. So average now is going to be equal to the first score plus the second score plus the third score and we are going to divide all of it by three. But since we want this calculation to take effect first, we are going to surround it with parentheses. And once we've added all three, all three, we divide by three, and then we terminate it. So now we will we'll end up with the value, the average in the average variable. And since we have the average, the program wants us to display the scores with, with its average. So we're going to output it that way. System .out print ln. It's a little comments to, to show what we're doing. Print out average. So system .out print ln the the average of. So I'm going to concatenate it with the first, second, and third score. The average of first score so so try to follow the, the concatenations so first score comma second score comma actually no no comma second score and concatenate it with third score Yes. Average. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and compile it. And I'm going to create a folder. And I'll call it, um, I think it was test score average, right? Uh, I want to name it exactly the way it's named in the book. Okay, so test average. Um, yeah, test average, sorry. So compile it, test average. I'll save it, save the files here. And it compiled well, no, no problems. So I'll run it. It's asking us, please enter the first score. I'm going to put put in 80. Please enter th enter the second score, 60 and 90. The average of 80, 60.0, and 90.0 is 76.66667. The reason why it's given us a, a you know, decimal that long is because we haven't converted, we haven't rounded it, and we can use um, methods to round round it to something like seven to six point point um, six uh, seven to six point let's say seven, or just or just seventy six or seventy seven. Um, so yes, chapter two doesn't doesn't really talk about those methods. So as and when those um, methods are introduced in the upcoming chapters, we'll do that. But we are just using the tools we have, we know in chapter two to create this program. And so far we've been able to do it. So this is the whole program and it works. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll answer them. I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time with the next program. All right, take care, bye-bye.